So now with the uh, toe block cut up, um, you can see I've cut everything here. The two kind of clearance angles here I've cut and everything cleaned up. And so we want to move on to the glue up. Um, I'm gonna glue up in three stages. So first I'll glue a side to the rear bed block. Wait for that to dry. Uh, then I'll glue on the toe block uh, with the blade in place so I can position it, uh, wait for that to dry, and then I'll glue on the other side. So uh, I've got a piece of MDF here, a known flat surface with some uh, plastic wrap on there to stop the glue sticking to it. Um, and I'll use this as my registering surface here to line up the uh, side to the sole. So I'm just going to be using standard tight bond, uh, spread a bunch on here. It's probably a bit too much here, but you don't want to be too stingy with glue. Because you want to make sure that this gets a nice solid bond. You don't have to be too careful with glue uh, squeeze out because uh, you'll be planing away. The kind of excess edges, so all the glue squeeze out will be planed away anyway. Although it will help to not have too much glue, so you won't have to uh, fight with slipping slippery kind of pieces when you clamp up. So here we go. Um, make sure you get your orientation correct uh, and then just glue up. see there as I tightened up the, the clamp it um, my side piece is actually now moving that's not a good thing so I'll wait for this to grab and slap a bunch of clamps on and that's it we just wait for it to dry so here with the back bed area glued up and dried um, I took some of the squeeze out from the sole so I could sit it flat again. And now it's time to glue up the uh, toe block. So um, what I did was I, um, I grabbed my blade here and um, basically placed it here where it would go. And I, I had it so that the blade edge would be from maybe about one, one and a half millimeters from the bottom of the sole here and I held it there and basically I butted up this uh, toe piece up to the tip of the blade and then I marked I marked along oh, hang on. I marked on the sole here I don't know if you can see but um, I marked some registration marks there's three there I've made and uh, that's the position that's the position I'll be gluing in my uh, uh, toe piece here. So um, I'll glue that up now. Same thing as before, spread some glue, um, uh, clamp it down and just make sure it doesn't shift. And after this is done, uh, we glue the other piece on top and that's just more of the same, spread some glue, clamp that down. And that's basically your uh, kind of paint plain body done and you should be able to kind of basically take some shavings at that point after a little bit of tune up so um, I'll, I'll glue everything together and I'll get So with the plain body all glued up and um, finished basically um, now it's time to move on to the tote uh, here I've got a 150 by 150 millimeter uh, squared 
piece of um, the same stuff I use for the plain body, 27 millimeters thick. And what I've done is I've drawn a grid of um, one inch squared uh, squares, and I've kind of traced an outline here of a tote. Uh, this plan I've actually got off like off off a a book online. Uh, basically, um, this piece here is the tenon which will sit into your mortise of the plane body. It's about 22, three millimeters uh, kind of deep. Uh, four inches wide and this front face is square um, to the kind of sides. This back face, this back end here however is rounded. Um, the kind of diameter of the circle is going to be a thickness of this stock, so 27 millimeters. Uh, that allows me to uh, kind of drill the mortise with a 27 millimeter Forstner or some other drill and that will give me a nice uh, radius there. Uh, this shape obviously is not kind of you know, very critical, it's just personal preferences. Um, if you can't find a template, um, there's always Lee Valley's site. Uh, Lee Valley has a bunch of PDFs uh, with templates for all sorts of plain totes. Um, they have uh, plans for their ones, uh, also for Stanley, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Um, so that's, that's one place to get the template if you can't find one. Um, usually plain totes are kind of a lot thinner in stock so maybe 24 5 millimeters thick I chose 27 because I like a chunkier grip and I can always shave it down later if I need to so um, to cut this out I'll just be kind of sawing to these three lines here planing them nice and flat so uh, all kind of square to each other uh, and then I'll be drilling a series of holes uh, along around here and then kind of connecting them up with a coping saw to cut that out uh, and then we'll be doing some kind of shaping later but uh, I'll get you know the whole tote cut out first and then I'll, I'll come back and show you. So here I've drilled out a bunch of the holes you can see I, I did a big forcing bit here for this curve and a smaller drill here for this inside tight curve here and I just drilled a series of holes down and uh, sawed these pieces out. Um, so you're left with this chunk here, and um, this is, well, kind of a rough shape, and you can kind of grab it and sort of feel it. This one feels pretty good. Um, so now you just want to fare these curves out, obviously smooth everything out here, keep everything still parallel, so just cut to the, the lines, uh, but keep it. Uh, kind of straight and then later you can uh, do these kind of contours. Um, I actually decided I would leave this back end square because looking around in my toolbox I didn't have a 27 millimeter uh, Forstner um, so I'm just gonna leave that square and chop it out. Um, so yeah you just get kind of carving and uh, shaping to how you like it and uh, once this is done uh, don't chop out the mortise yet for your uh, in your body because once this is done you'll use this to mark it so first get everything here cleaned up keep this bottom section obviously flat and square and you also want to keep the contours uh, when you're carving uh, maybe slightly above here so that uh, you can finish carving them off when they're on the plane uh, and that would kind of prevent you you know carving into the uh, tenon here and creating a gap so I'll just go ahead and slowly work away on this with some uh, files, spoke shave, um, whatever you have. Um, it'll probably take a bit of time to smooth it out and everything, so uh, take it slow and just enjoy yourself, I guess, and keep test fitting while you're doing it. So I'll get back to you once I've shaped this uh, all out. Uh, I'll probably do the contours as well because that's not going to take too much time really. Uh, and then we'll, I guess the next thing we'll do is uh, mark out the mortise and chop it.